video. Before we start, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring that bell to get all the notifications about this channel. Now, for today's topic, we're going to be talking about child labor in the film industry. So, for anyone who doesn't know, in the United States, child labor ended in 1916 with the introduction of the Keaton Owing Child Labor Act. This act banned the goods found from children working in factories under the age of 14 and also the goods from children working in mines who were under the age of 16. This act also prohibited children working in these places at night. This was a very progressive time for America. Many kid workers were actually starting to be treated fairly and given the respect that they deserved. However, there was one industry that, while new, still fell under the radar, and that was the film industry. And we will get all into that in just a moment, but let's start out with a brief history. Children in Movies has gone back over a hundred years, with Jackie Coogan being the first. He was cast in The Kid with Charlie Chaplin in 1921. If you don't recognize Coogan from this photo, you may recognize him in this later photo of him as Uncle Fester in the 1973 Addams Family TV show. While Coogan was the first on the big screen, he was also the first child to have billions of dollars stolen from him by his own mother, nonetheless. Originally, it was Jackie's father who dealt with his money with the intent of giving it to him when he was older. But after his father died, his mother and her new husband were then given the task of managing his money. In her eyes, acting wasn't a job for Coogan, but just something fun to do. She has even stated, no promises were made to ever give Jackie anything. He was a bad boy. Well, that's really harsh, especially from your own mother. <sighs> Jackie did take his mother and his stepfather to court, and he did win. But after everything was said and done, he only had $126,000 left, which was quite far from the billions he started with. And the sad thing about this is that this still kind of happens. You don't hear about it as much, but it's still there. Parents micromanage their children to the point that they are basically stealing from them. And it isn't right. They should be held accountable. SAG is also another major player in this. SAG, or the Screen Actors Guild, is a union that all actors and actresses are under. Like all unions, SAG's job is to protect employees from overworking management. But SAG, like many, has faults. One of their requirements is that child actors need to have a parent or guardian on set with them at all times. Sounds reasonable, right? Well. These adults who are on set with them don't get health benefits, despite the fact that they're on set and something could happen to them while on set. They don't get benefits for that. They're just expected to pay out of pocket. The children do, but the parents, they do not. And what's even more unfair about this is adults who are under SAG, adult actors, they do get health care for themselves, for their spouse, for their children, their entire immediate family, they get health care for. And these people, most of the time, are not on set with them. So why should they, people who are not even there, get this health care? And these adults who are on set with them, these kids, who could get hurt just as much as they could, don't. It seems very unfair and very unbalanced. We actually have a testament from a very well-known child actress. Miley Cyrus, who started her career at 13 years old, told Harper's Bazaar in 2013, I was an adult when I was supposed to be a kid. She never got that chance to actually grow up. Now, she then went on to say, so now I'm an adult acting like a kid. Cyrus never got that chance to develop as a kid. 
She was thrust into an adult world. She was surrounded by adults all the time and was made to act like one. She never had a real childhood. And that is sad. Now, I'm not saying that we should just not have kids act in films and TV anymore. No, we can keep that, but we need to find a way to let them still have a childhood. Give them better hours. Let them be around with other kids. Make child acting a federal law. Don't have it go state by state. Make it a law. Make it that they need to require permits. Make it that they need to have certain hours. Have regulations. Federally, that every state needs to follow. Number two, regulate SAG better. It needs to regulate itself better. Make its rules and regulations more equal. There is no reason why families of adults acting can, should get health care and families of children acting should not. That is not fair, especially since these parents and guardians are usually on set with the child at the time. Number three, there needs to be a better way to guard parents, executives, all higher ups regarding child acting, managers, anybody. These kids don't know any better. They're just trying to be a child. And that's all that they should be able to do. but they're thrust into an adult's world, as we saw with Miley Cyrus and we'll see with others, and I've seen with others. They're thrust into an adult world and they don't know what to do about it. Their parent tells them one thing, they're just gonna go with what their parent says because that's what we're trained to do as a child or the teacher. They're not sure if it actually is right for them. There should be someone out there who generally wants to make sure that they're not being taken advantage of. And I know that's a moral thing. And a lot of people out there just are not like that. But it would be great if we could find someone that actually was. Mm -hmm.